Pisces. Welcome to your tarot. A sense right now, Pisces, of huge transformation, of definitely moving on from a past you to a new you. And I know I've been saying that in the last readings, in the last month, but right now it seems like it is time that this is the transformation. It is the awakening. It is the finally crossing the, th the threshold. It's passing through that door. And that's because you inside have changed. It's because you inside have decided, you have found the secret. The secret that is that you can actually manifest all that you want. That is all in, within your power, within your positive visualization of actually your dreams. And that you can actually manifest it in reality. It is not just a, a dream world of the Pisces, confused and it's illusion, no. It's the Pisces that has risen to its higher frequency that is that, yeah, actually being able to be abundant materially, spiritually, in this life, on this planet. Not just flying, contemplating, meditating, no. You're able to actually find now this equilibrium between your spirituality, your space, your deepness, and express that. Find a way to express it and communicate it to the world and create exactly that. Create the center, create the, the, the space, the channel, uh, the job, the work, the business, the enterprise, the association, the nonprofit organization, all of that, the community. You're starting to partner with the right people because you have found who you are and what you truly want and you can do it. There's no more huge blockage. Maybe you're still working on some emotional stuff, but you have found a certain stability that cannot be taken away by Pisces. So I see only celebration uh, from now on, moving forward. But just remember now you are an emperor or an empress. You have the emperor here. Use logic and structure to increase your, su your success. Get organized, a firm but compassionate leader. So now it's all about stra strategy, organizing, uh, finding the structure, finding the discipline every day to put a little bit of time towards exactly that that you want. Uh, finding the space for your love life, for your own work, for the work with others, a community, your own solitude. is finding, you know, the discipline that is going to bring success. You might be very busy, so don't be afraid of asking for help here all work and no play, being weighed down by too many responsibilities. So make sure that you don't get to that point where you're overburdened too. Remember that you know being success successful and all of that is not just about working so hard that you know um, putting all of your energy until you burn out. It's actually finding this equilibrium with your meditation, the clarity of your mind, of your positive visual visualization, thinking and focus that enables this intense focus enables you to not work as much but better and that's the quality not the quantity of your work so that's important to remember um, now you have unity number five is very significant of course you know 55 is big big shift major transformation in your life you have do the right thing for the right reason Compare traditional versus new approaches to see which works for you. A spiritually minded community. So you might be finding yourself in a community or you know, if that's what you want to build or you know, uh, connecting with the right people, your soul tribe, um, but still feeling that you have your own unique voice, your own way of doing things. Um, and that is why I feel really you're the emperor. You are supposed, Pisces, to build, create your own thing. You know, we all have dif different ways, different, um, ap you know, attitudes or approaches to same things. But I feel that you have, especially Pisces, a visionary mind. And often you don't fit in 
completely. So here there could be traditional approaches um, to certain things that you might be interested in that you are probably um, working on or learning but at the same time you're seeing or feeling that you want to do it differently so not becoming go becoming egoic you can actually learn from that traditional approach and at the same time still put an effort and time into what you actually um, you know the way you want to make it or do it or whatever so this is just a reminder that it's okay to be different it's okay to feel that you need your own space, your own energy, your own center, maybe perhaps your own channel, um, that maybe, yes, you can collaborate with other people, but maybe you need to have your own thing also um, in parallel, you know, finding this balance depending on each and every one of you. Um, now, you have definitely this eight of summer, which is an eight of cups walking away, but in a good way, Pisces, it's a desire for a more meaningful life realizing that it's time to move on choosing to make major life changes so whatever wherever you were maybe the last few months you learned a lot you were you know probably in in the right space at the right time there's a reason for everything but right now it feels definitely there's a shift there's a need to actually move on to the next level to the next thing and that might be another step another challenge another not knowing where you're going maybe you, you're used to do that by yourself in the past, very independent, traveling independently. Maybe now you're doing that with another person that's changing the course of your life as well. Maybe you are planning to have a family as well. So a lot of things are um, kind of adding to your life that are different from what you, you're used to. But don't be afraid of that, Pisces. There's a need here to, as you're going through all the, of those changes, remember inside truly what makes you happy what is the one thing that you yeah. cannot go one day without doing that is you know some time they need to put into that okay now you got here take steps to ensure the financial security of your children or other loved ones making wise investments or planning for retirement honoring family tradition so that's very ten of pentacle like it's really building um, building your life in a in a material way so not so much this is being the emperor actually it's seeing things from this mental organized disciplined perspective that is building up to that is investing so i need to be very clear-minded to make the right decision at this time um because you're building such you're at the beginning of such a legacy that there's a need here to move you know like a chess game move very in a very smart way you know partner with the right people maybe not too many people maybe not talk so much about what you are planning to do now the two of spring a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity exactly that pisces 2022 is this hard work putting in the work creativity and it's partnering with others who share your dreams great progress being made so through all of this pisces the right people the work the effort um but also staying true to your, your own vision creating something new your own thing is now possible you can actually manifest this dream of yours and be helped by others that's the important difference i think for pisces right now maybe you were used to doing things a lot by yourself and you love your solitude but you're learning to find this this balance at this time you are making big progress so remember even if it's a little bit challenging progress is being made look at this huge card transformation this is what is going on so through this transformation this change in your life remember to listen to your inner voice this is what came through and your inner voice is this subtle call from the universe from it's a judgment card really in the tarot and it's very subtle it whispers it's not the ego that is very loud so you need to definitely find space for silence for inner silence every every day i was gonna say every second but it is yeah every moment um eventually but definitely find this in this kit and let's say noise of action of many things to do you need to find this ground of 
really focus internal focus to hear the next steps that are ahead because you are co-creating it's not just you your ego creating something you you will actually align your path exactly how you want it um, if you're able to move and let the universe move you your soul move you and that's the key here um, now when it comes to love there's definitely a soul mating a soul made healing taking place as well this transformation is also happening internally emotionally we saw that with the last reading so so much is happening awakening you know you are definitely very sensitive at this time pisces and the number 44 keeps coming through you're expanding so if you're feeling very vulnerable very like ugh, a little scared you know like a little bit you know when you're a bit paralyzed because seriously you're feeling like you know very uncomfortable like you don't have any security anything to hold on to because everything is going to be new it's okay it's normal to feel that way at this time you are actually expanding it's because whatever you were holding on to has disappeared has crumbled and now you are like in the emptiness and that can be scary but remember this is because you're expanding to something you don't know yet and if you're a bit sensitive very sensitive vulnerable just remember that this is just a sign of awakening that yes um, this also triggers instability emotionally because we feel more but as you are aware of that you can not react so quickly to your own um let's say obsessions or darkness that seem to creep up more and more and more just because you are awakening and getting closer to closer to the light you are also having more tests and tests and tests because you need to become stronger as you become closer to the light because the light burns so only the ones who are really strong and have proven themselves can actually be the light you know that's the responsibility and the challenge so just know you are strengthening yourself emotionally you are strengthening yourself uh, mentally as well and spiritually as you are doing so you will manifest the reality of your dream right here right now but you have to stay strong and as you stay strong you know things will happen so stay centered listen to the universe to the inner voice and this will come through pisces stay calm because you need to really stay centered calm okay and things will happen in a more tranquil way all right so let's here get into your tarot it's a beautiful time Pisces and I know with Christmas it can be a little bit depressing time and sad but you can make it different it's your first Christmas your first new year maybe it's as the new you and take it as that as now it's gonna be only joy it's gonna be only what I truly dreamt of only love only you know all good you know that there's no and of course they won't be perfect 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 but as you going through the challenges up come back it's the light the light the light and more 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 until there will be only that okay there will be no suffering there will be feelings you know sometimes of course of emotions a little bit up and down but it won't affect you the way it used to because you find this ground and this is where and what you're becoming pisces this awakening okay so most beautiful remember you're okay if you don't know who you are anymore it's normal <laughs> all right let's get into it pisces what do we have for pisces at this time all possibilities are open to you now it's infinite infinite and you need to rise to the occasion okay the hangman exactly Pisces you changing you know perspective um, everything maybe feeling like a, at a stalemate maybe feeling like a standstill um, because not knowing what's next and what was no longer is so you're kind of at this zero point but this is also bringing you a whole new perspective on life on other people on you on your own 
internal work that needs to be done and still is being done every single moment. So this is also illumination, is understanding, finally seeing things from a higher perspective. <laughs> and of course we have the tower underneath. So this is it. It's the universe has intervened in your life to make things completely crumble. And that is for you to move towards your true path to move everything towards your dreams and for that there had to be maybe more dramatic shifts in your life so that you could actually begin from zero completely different sometimes the universe stops everything so that we ha we are faced only with our own silence, our own truth, our own issues. It's actually a blessing. Sometimes we we are impatient. We're like, ah, oh, I want this to be to happen now, you know. But you know, there is a reason for everything. Six of Sword, moving towards common waters here, Pisces, and that relates to a relationship here. You are changing and definitely your way of being in love definitely that we've seen we saw this in the last reading as well <coughs> yeah four of sword you have been healing time out there's also a need for that right to take that time um it feels here that from all the sores the mental conflicts and you know negativity you are now moving towards more healing and this healing that is taking place you know is out of the drama from surrounding you you are deciding to rec like a cocoon come back here and to this tranquility your own energy and choose to change your perception knowing that whatever we perceive is our own but there is a higher perception that is beyond our ego and to get to that point, we need to disappear. That's the thing. Seven of Wands, be in your power, completely in your power, Pisces. Coming back here. Sometimes there's a phase of a lot of movement where we shift a lot, we change a lot without knowing it. And then suddenly there is a phase where there's a kind of a standstill, like we were saying, and that is where we start to see how much we've changed, I see. The King of Wands. This could be a fire sign here. This is someone, a leader. It's someone very passionate, very creative, um, a boss, someone who knows what they want, who takes action. Uh, who is very creative, yeah, I said that. And then we have a king of swords, someone, uh, two kings, Pisces, someone who also mentally is balanced, who is logical. Um, I think that here, if it is you, is you using your creativity, your sense of going for things, um, taking action, and also from a logical point of view. Um, and that's, that's a beautiful mix because it's being disciplined, logical, and taking action upon that. So that can only bring stability into what is being created. Also, we have this cobra here, and that is signifying, you know, Kundalini awakening is under the hangman. So definitely an, an awakening happening, illumination and transformation taking place that we saw in the oracle card Pisces. The wheel. <laughs> At the heart of your read, Pisces, the wheel has turned. Good luck is on your side. This is Jupiter. And look, Ace of Swords. This is the clarity, the, uh, the um, divine insight that comes from the, from the universe. It's the truth. It's victory. It's beautiful. This is you being able to actually do what you want and live the life that you want and love in your work and your mission and in your service. Eight of Pentacles, you're putting in the work, Pisces. The need to put in the work, a need to um, find that space for yourself where you have the time 
to actually put in the work internally and also externally if it is you know technical things that you need to work on for this new project or whatever it is that you're putting you know coin every 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 day you're putting it a little bit of effort there the tower yeah meaning that unexpected it could be also unexpected shift uh, events happening that um turn that wheel maybe if it hasn't happened for you yet but it's definitely the universe intervening behind the scene don't be surprised if there is uh unexpected major shift of things have circumstance happen in your life that could just turn the wheel without you knowing it that's why you need to stay focused visualize what you want and magically it seems that things will start happening all you need to do is put in the work and shift your perce your perception your perspective and be confident the king of wands is really confident pisces is going for it choosing to live your dream and living it actually talking it's walking your talk and when there's a little bits of a sabota sabotaging thought or negative thought <clears throat> it's released immediately ace of cups and i was saying that and the ace of cups came when it comes to love especially pisces you have this tendency of not wanting to or feeling you know, it's ingrained in you that it won't last or that it will be a problem or if there is a little bit of a, a problem in the relationship and that's normally all a relationship because it's a work in progress you might be feeling oh and now, now it's over it's no longer perfect it's no longer you know all oh, this happened a hitch happened and now oh it's over no you need to really know this is when it's like that when it's so profound it cannot you know be stopped so then it's just a matter of accepting of you know accepting that you can receive love that you can actually live that love and work with it and on it and that is a journey of life it's working within yourself it's a spiritual journey love is a spiritual journey yeah and if there wasn't enough you have ace of cups and two of cups definitely talking about a relationship here a, two, a twin flame soulmate soulmate definitely very strong um here relationship and really saying that the wheel has turned and that all, all that is needed to be done is to continue planting the seeds within that relationship getting to know each other um keep, keeping the change that needs to happen with you with new pisces is to harness your confidence your self-confidence and that will be your healing because as you empower yourself you go towards you accept that all is possible and you move forward this healing you are healing your heart so continue having faith because you have good luck the wheel is at the center it's a whole new world for you a whole new world and it might be very intense it might emotionally trigger you a lot but remember it's all okay take it step by step like an eight of pentacle coin by coin day by day that's a whole lot we have the star definitely healing is taking place and also allow yourself to dream to follow your star follow your dream allow this is really allowing yourself if you had this dream of you know romance of a lifetime or forever it's doable it's not just the movies okay this is important if you truly see it believe it feel it within you especially feel it within you visualize it that it's possible and that you put in the action aligned with that dream it will happen this is a tremendous power that we all have 
and that this time you have it Pisces and you have good luck on your side so you have all the energies pushing you towards that so uh, as you are awakening to that now it's just your responsibility to be that and act upon that now right if there's a disbelief that comes you know here there insecurity whew, washed away and I move on I have a dream and it will be realized okay only joy it's possible now nine of wands yes you're a wounded healer that's where you come from but look underneath nine of cups so from the nine of wands all of this burden exhaustion you know almost giving up you have emotional fulfillment pisces so you can definitely get emotional fulfillment in your life completely as you've dreamt of it it's just a matter of releasing the dark wound that we saw in the other reading pisces it's another life for you pisces it's beautiful and the five of cups is just reminding us here with the moon all the subconscious fears all of the what seems you know not clear to you that is buried you know all of those wounds that are possibly can you know resurface at any given moment you need to let it go because this five of cups again has um those cups that are from the past and he is just regretting looking at the past how it was or maybe you made a mistake and you're like thinking and thinking and thinking about it or just regretting all of that there's a need here to move on to move on because this if you stay focused on that or you don't release it it stays in your subconscious and it has the ability to resurface and the moon here is you being you pisces being act actually able to receive your new life which means you have released the fears from the past you have completely released it ten of cups pisces knight of sword and four of wands so this is a union card when it comes to homecoming when it comes to twin flame energy and i was feeling it um but here the moon if there's anything on clear pisces comes with a ten of cups and a knight of sword there's a communication someone rushing towards that their ten of cups here so even if it doesn't seem clear how this is going to pan out how it's going to happen it's here it's in your energy and it's coming quickly and someone wants that with you so if there's any doubt anything like that ten of cups four of wands let it go the moon is just this is just the illusion of how you were in the past of your experiences in love in the past or your life you know it could be you know you're not being able to you know um build your business the business of your dream or do what you actually want now you can now is the time so you need to believe in it because it's here pisces okay so i hope this was helpful for you please um take care of yourself and i will see you very soon